Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I was asked how to make Christmas lights in XCS though. Let us do that. One tip I'm going to give you is I speak a little quickly. So if you're watching this on YouTube, come to the settings cog, hit playback speed, and anything above the word normal will slow this down. I just like to share that with people so you can uh, work along with me. Okay, so back into XCS. We're going to start with the vector tool. This looks like the little pen tip of a fountain pen. We're going to make some dots. Every time we move it, we make a dot. We push the mouse or our trackpad, whatever you're using, we're making an M. Not a great M. And then we hit done. Now you may be thinking, that doesn't look anything like Christmas lights. Go to edit. Now, you can double click on this to alter, or you can come up here to the node management menu and mess with those. But each of these harsh points, the three in the middle, will get uh, smoothed out. And these you can just adjust. If you make a mistake or add a node where you don't want to, just hit undo. Now you can drag each of these nodes or you can highlight them to drag. So you'll see here, I'm just gonna highlight this one over here and move my arrow key. See, there's lots of ways you can do this. Hit done. Now we have a squiggle, but that's not gonna work for us. So now we need to hit an outline. This is gonna smooth everything out, make it thicker and happier. Hit confirm, move it down. You wanna remove this vector right here. All done. I'm gonna select that to engrave so you can see it a little bit better. Now, I am going to make another rectangle. You can make it any size, any shape, but I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm gonna make it so you can see it a little better by just selecting engrave. When you zoom in, we always wanna round off our rectangles so that the laser doesn't add char. So right here, I'm just gonna click that and change the corner radius to two. You can make it whatever number you want, just helps. So now I'm gonna make a copy of that because I tend to mess things up and you always want to copy. So I'm going to make uh, my positioning over here just by copying and pasting this two times. So I'm going to make this one, pay, copy and paste it, and make another one, and copy and paste it, and make another one. So this one here, I am going to use the reflect horizontally to get that into place. And then this one down here, we're just going to center-ish it. You don't want everything symmetrical. It kind of plays with the eyes a little bit, but get it where you want it. All right, now you have a little light strand. I'm gonna go over here and select output off for that one. Now we need to make our lights, right? But first, we're gonna combine this. So now this isn't four pieces, it's just one. So we're gonna go to the circle menu. You can use this one, or you can just hit C on your keyboard like I do. You're gonna make an oval. Now, we're gonna go into that edit menu. Do not double click. Watch what happens, see that? It's ugly. Just pull on the top and on the bottom to make it a little shorter, squattier. That's it, hit done. Now, I'm gonna make this a different color and I'm gonna set it to engrave so you can see it a little better. Again, you always wanna make a copy, but what if you hate it? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. I decide right here, that doesn't look like a light. So I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio, is right here, there will be a line in that, and then I'm gonna make it chunkier. Now I'm gonna copy and paste it and set that one to output off. And now just copy and use this one for my positioning. Now, I my preference is to make it so that the lights are inside of the little light holder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this over my rectangles. And you can do the third one here. And you may say, Sarah, that's not going to work. Oh, it will. I promise. Now, you would want to get those even. Those are not even. But primarily, the idea is to copy these three. I'm gonna change the color so you can see that they're different, but you also wanna group them together. That is the important part. Then we wanna highlight all three of these and our light fixture and subtract. Now look, it's gonna give that nice little whoop rounded portion. And when we zoom in here, we can put this exactly in place because we grouped it all together. Look at that. Now you can combine, cut, engrave, score, whatever you want, but that's it. We are done with this. The basic shapes and a couple of program uh, features inside of XCS will turn you into a designer. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like, share, and subscribe for more crafting fun.